This very short demonstration shows some of the key differential pair generation features of HyperDevGen, which is Tanner EDA's high performance device generator. For this short demonstration, we're using HyperDevGen integrated into version 15 of Tanner EDA's LEDIT layout environment. A differential pair is an analog primitive that is used time and time and time again in virtually every single analog circuit there is. So to be able to accelerate and automate the layout of this offers a huge productivity enhancement to the layout engineer. Looking at our layout accelerator for the differential pair, let's just take it in and look at some of the options. Basically what we need to do in the differential pair very fundamentally is we need to be able to describe the width and length of each of the devices in the differential pair, the number of fingers they have, um, the output drain wire width, the output spacing between the drain and the gate, the source wire width, and we can look at some of the other options as we go down through it. Let's just generate it very, very quickly. So this would be a two fingered differential pair of five over 0.25. And let's just generate a very, very simple differential pair. At the moment, looking at this, it's nothing special, I guess, to look at, but it is actually well matched in terms of we have device A, we have the same metalization, we have device B, and we're using dummies. We have the source connection in metal three coming across the device, so the source connection is made. This would be the drain of A, and this here would be the drain of B. Looking at some of the options that we have in terms of the generation of this device, just the physical generation, one of the things we can decide to do, for instance, would is we can decide to add protection diodes to each of the gates. And this would stop any sort of VT shift coming on. So over here we're adding a protection diode and here we're adding a protection diode. So now we have the same charge buildup on these gates or, or hopefully in fact no charge buildup. Another generation option which is not quite nice is we can choose that join the gate on the top and bottom. This would reduce the resistance of the polysilicon, the parasitic resistance in the series, so it would make for a low noise device. Um, and what we get is we get the gates joined top and bottom. Another physical generation option that we would have if we look at the device is we could choose to add a guard ring to it and we would get a guard ring around the device. So we end up with a device that is, again, LVS DRC clean and well matched. Now looking at this device here, we can see that we have the drain here and the drain here. So this is one drain of drain A and this is the drain of drain B. So we have two drains versus one, two, three sources. Other options we have in our generation is we can actually choose to optimize the drain parasitics over the source parasitics. So in this case, this was the drain. If we change this now, we can actually come along and now we have a device where the source parasitics are optimized over the drain. And in this case now, we need drain routing here and we need drain routing here just to make sure that the drains are connected up. Again, the source is across the middle. Some other really neat features of this tool is if we look at this guy, taking this part here as the center of the device, device A is on the left-hand side of the origin and device B is on the right-hand side of the origin, in which case, strictly speaking, your linear process gradients are not matched. However, it's a small device, this may not be a concern to you. But if it is, we can certainly come along and we can choose to match linear process gradients across the device. And what we can see now is we have device A and device B on the left-hand side and device B and device A on the right-hand side, giving you an ABBA pat um, pattern, which basically cancels any linear offsets. Very other, some nice features. Let's just remove the gates top and bottom just to kind of make the structure a little bit nicer. Some other nice features we can see is in this case we have now, we have for device A, we have one drain connection, device B, we have two, um, sorry, device A, we have a drain connection and another drain connection giving us two drain connections, but device B, we have one. If we choose here, what we can also choose in our generation is we can say, in this case here, we want to match drain parasitics, which means the parasitics on the drain of A must also match the parasitics on the drain of B. So in this case now, it splits this connection. So we have two source connections or two drain connections for B and we have one, two for A. Some other nice features, if we look at the drain output at the moment, we can actually increase the spacing because we have a spacing between our drains. So we can change our drain wire width to be five and we can also space it out now to be five microns. And what this effectively do, does is it will change the width of this track, but also the spacing between this, the track and the input. So it's a very configurable device. Taking this onwards, we can obviously 
take our differential pairs, move into as many fingers as we want. Let's take an eight finger device here, um, match our SDI, and we also now go back to our drain parasitics. And we'll generate a device which would look like this. So effectively what we're actually doing now is we're taking any differential pair that we have in our schematics and based on just design rule inputs as an input, where our design rule values as an input, we're able to generate any differential pair at all in terms of making sure that it's matched for linear process gradients, we can configure it for parasitics, um, and we can prioritize certain things like dummies over diodes and so on. Accelerating very much the layout process, taking the, the tedious task away from the layout engineer, but also making sure that what we're generating is very, very high quality silicon in terms of it's well matched and high yields.